I'm back and this is going to be my overall review of the Skin Shop BB Creams that was sent to me. So I'll begin with the BB Cream that I least like and move on to my most favorite product from the Skin Shop. And my most, uh, the least favorite product that I received from them, and by the way, I did not get paid to review these products. They just sent it to me, they asked me if I could do a review. And I said yes, they didn't hire me, I'm not being paid for this. So my least favorite of the four BB creams that was sent to me is this one. This is the Magic Science BB Cream. It has an SPF of 25 and a PA of plus plus. So it has the weakest sun protection. And it has this kind of packaging. And it looks like this. So on camera it's kind of bright but throughout the day it oxidizes on me so it's it ends up being darker on me at the end of the day so I look like I'm a shade a full shade darker than what I really am but with it comes this setting powder in the box that it came with and this too is about NC25 or higher and it comes with a poof powder puff and it's a loose powder so you got holes it has a nice mirror but what do you do you just shake it like that and you get the product in the mirror so the packaging would have been okay had the space for the powder to come out of been deeper and notice I only have one hole exposed because the powder gets everywhere if I have all the holes exposed and the reason why I'm, well the actually the reason why I'm not using it is that because these two are just plain darker on my skin so I look like I'm darker at the end of the day and they oxidize on me but apart from that if I were an NC30 or NC25 higher this would probably look good on me and this should have better packaging. So apart from that, this actually lasts all day. I don't get as oily as much when I use this. I just blot here. I blot maybe twice a day. And um, it didn't break me out the whole time I was using. None of these items that from the skin shop broke me out. I didn't get any new blackheads or pimples apart from that monthly period that I always get pimples for from but none of these items it broke me out immediately so that's squared away so I'm gonna leave that none of these products broke me out so the second BB cream though that I like from this particular set is their magic bright BB cream it has anti-wrinkle properties it has an SPF of 30 and a PA of plus plus and it has whitening. It also has that kind of Skin 79 packaging with the pump and it looks like this. So this one is a little fairer than this one. And this one actually adapts to my skin shade and stays that way the whole day so it doesn't oxidize on me it didn't break me out either and this one is a little bright like the name suggests it is brightening so it's reminiscent of my my leo welly bb cream the silky touch bb cream this one this one so the effect of this one and this one are very similar they have a brightening effect it's not bold shimmery but it makes my skin look glowy so it also lasts all day it doesn't make me look oily it's not doesn't have any heavy feeling uh, after a while after four to six hours some foundations especially when you're starting to get oily it feels heavy on your face this one does not do that none, uh, none of them do actually but this one remained 
like this. It remained brightening on my face. And then, apart from that, they also gave me from their recovery line, this one, their Blemish Balm Natural Care System Premium Secret BB Cream. And this one was the, actually the first one that I tried of all four. And it looks like that. It has an upside down tube like your usual BB cream. And it looks like that. And this one I like because it has a set, kind of matte to satin finish. So this one suits my coloring along with this best for a more natural finish whereas the magic bright is for glowy finish so with this one this has an spf of 37 and a pa of plus 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 and this one has a citrusy herbal scent and this one doesn't oxidize on me either and this one adapts to my shade fastest and it stays that way throughout the day if i don't get oily as quickly maybe i'd get oily in about four to six hours and then it's just the tip of my nose that would get oily that would require me to blot off the excess oils this one didn't break me out either and this one i really like but the one that I like best of all their BB creams that they sent me is this one. This is the Luminous Pure BB. And this one has anti-wrinkle, UV protection of SPF 45, and a PA of plus, plus, plus. And it has whitening effects. Now, the reason why I like this is because it has a combination of these two and it has the highest SPF. So it has the luminite, luminizing factor without it being too bright, which I like. So it looks sort of normal, but just a little. Whereas with this, and with this for that matter, it looks like you're going out for an evening. So this one, I like this the best. And this didn't break me out either. And it last me, lasted me all day. And it didn't oxidize on me either. So those are the BB of the skin shop products that was sent to me. My favorite is not a BB cream, but their solution cream, the recovery solution cream. And this is their snail cream, and I use this twice a day. And on the box it says 90% mucin filtrate. And it looks like this, and it has a pump. And that's what it looks like. It's, so it's a white cream that's very easy to spread out and blend. And it dries very quickly. Now the history of snail cream go back to ancient times actually. And it was used to help heal wounds. And I have a blog review of this with complete with pictures. But the snail cream actually did not originate in Korea, but uh, this use of snail cream for topical uses or skin cream is, was popularized in Chile, or they've been using it for a long time in Chile from the late 90s uh, to the first decade of the millennium. And what it is, it's the slime of the snails, that they, the tracks that they leave behind. So it's a concentrated form of that. So the snails that they have were most likely, hopefully, cultured ones. And they gather the snail slime and they process that. And you have something that smells nice. And it's something that's concentrated to help whatever blemish that you might have. Now I can't attest to it being useful on wrinkles but I can attest to it being useful on pimples I've been using this for a month and every month uh, I in particular get pimples uh, at that time of the month 
and whenever I would get those, whenever I did get that at that time of the month, especially when I had used uh, a different sunscreen, I used this and it helped clear up the pimples in a faster rate than I would be able to heal them by myself without any other topical agent on the pimples. So with this, using this, I am able to heal my pimples a lot quicker. So this is my most favorite product of all the five, one, two, three, four, six items that they sent me. And this retails about 1,400 pesos or 35,000 South Korean won. So this is not, this particular brand is not available in the Philippines yet. Uh, but you can try to order online and I will provide their contact information on the links that I have below. And this is a new brand and their endorser is a K-pop girl group called JQT. So hopefully this new brand uh, will give the, the usual suspects competition because their BB creams are at par if not better. And their snail cream is actually quite affordable compared to the other brands. So if you have any further questions about this particular brand, just post them down below or if you have any questions about any of the products that I've discussed here, just post them down below and I'll get to them as quick as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.